you don't want to kill anyone, especially not me. Now risen to 92, so many of the victims, children. That number is expected to climb. And this evening, we're getting the first full picture of the horror as authorities piece together what happened. The killer's meticulous planning. Police warn people leave the city center or stay at home. Two hours later, another attack on an island an hour away. A man dressed as a policeman approached a crowd of youths attending a summer camp. He pulled out an automatic weapon and sprayed them with bullets. This policeman has come up and uh, said that he's there to help you. All of a sudden you realize actually this policeman is starting to shoot all of you. One of the girls stopped crying and she told me that there was a policeman with a bald head that had started shooting them. We're just getting some updates on what appears to be a terrorist bombing in Oslo, Norway. An explosion hit government headquarters this morning. At least seven people are dead. Many more are hurt. A government spokesman says the prime minister is safe. An aide says he was working at home at the time. An anti-terror police have also been sent to a youth camp just outside of Oslo after reports. We're now on our way away from the blast site. Headed in the opposite direction. A 32-year-old man allegedly dressed in a police uniform opened fire and murdered 84 people. He told them he was there to help them and told them to come close. And then he pulled an automatic weapon out of his bag and started killing people. To make sure they were dead, he pulled a shotgun out of the bag and finished the job. Salamen går. Minuter senare är banken omringad av stora polisstyrkor med skarpskyttare. Huvudingången till DNB nu är som dratt ut av en Hollywoodfilm. This is going to be a great movie. I worked with Steven Spielberg. I've been involved with Warner Brothers. I have a massive film background. Två filmproducenter har lagt en bot på 50 000 kronor, medan DNB Nord har bötlagt med 30 000 kronor efter att polisi i Bergen måste rycka ut till det de trodde var ett bankran. You want to live? Stay down! We will kill everybody in this bank! It's just a pretend scene. It's fiction. It's not a real bank robbery. We're making a movie. They're all fake. They're all BB guns. None of them are real. This is not going to happen, of course. So what we're going to see is that it's eventually which kind of punishment that can be for later. The whole damn town is involved in a plot against us. What you could say is, I guess, an informant, you know, that said that he had to tell everyone he wasn't speaking to us, but he was still at the same time, un you know, uh, undercover, basically, yep. trying to investigate this whole thing. And again, he uncovered more details of this plot, you know, and uh, came with more information. One person making an innocent comment in, in, in public or on Facebook, and the men they'll send, they won't care that you're a kid, they'll be glad. You'll be your mother's kryptonite. They will kill you. All of you. Painfully. You're scaring me.
Uh, we doing we did nothing wrong. Can you please make sure the police do not take my videotape? So just to tell our viewers what we're talking about here, we understand uh, from NRK, the uh, state broadcaster there, that there is an attack ongoing. This is a, a terrorist uh, attack.